Monday morning, about 6 a.m., back at O'Hare. This week, we're gonna be sitting down with Tad Fowler. Tad is the Vice President of Tax at Procter & Gamble, based in Cincinnati. He was also the first person that I really worked for um, at PwC. Before we get to Cincinnati, three flights today. Flying from Chicago to Kansas City, have a meeting in Kansas City, and then flying back to O'Hare to ultimately get to Cincinnati, which is where PNG is based. So let's get this week going, shall we? fly from Kansas City to Chicago, Chicago to Cincinnati. My Chicago flight was delayed, wasn't gonna make my connection, so now I'm flying via Atlanta and get into Cincinnati at about midnight. flights, four cities, I don't know how many hundreds of miles, but uh, it's 1220, I'm exhausted, I'm going to bed. Good night. All right. I am with Tad Fowler. Tad is the Vice President of Tax at Procter & Gamble here in Cincinnati. Tad was a senior manager at PwC when I started my career in 1999. Yep. And Tad's here today to talk a little bit about of what it's like working in public accounting versus what it's like working in industry. So Tad, tell us a little bit about your, your path, right? Sure. I started right out of school in public accounting, you know, back in the days, I think even still today, you needed a minimum number of years of experience to be mm -hmm. uh, certified as a, as a public accountant. So like most people, I started in public accounting. Uh, eventually found myself um, moving out to New York and working for General Electric in their corporate tax department for a number of years in the mid 90s. And then came to PwC where you and I met and um, became a partner in 2000. And why did you decide to leave accounting kind of early in your career and, and, and go into industry? I was still fairly young when I made that decision. Mm -hmm. And frankly, I was still debating, do I want to be a tax professional for a career? Might I want to go think about getting an MBA or maybe going to law school and doing something different? What, what brought you back to, to public accounting from industry? I, I think what brought me back <laughs> is I felt like um, I had been doing tax long enough that I knew I wanted to make a career of it. Okay. And I felt that the way to credentialize myself was to get back into a public accounting setting and make partner. Okay. I, I felt like that would be sort of my long-term credentials, given I didn't have an MBA, didn't, you know, didn't go to law school. I sort of felt like that was for me my path to credentialization in this industry. And so and you have an undergraduate degree in accounting and then obviously mm -hmm. then you had set for, right. for the, the CPA, CPA exam. Okay. Correct. You compare, you know, what it was like working, what it's like working in industry, mm -hmm. and then what it's like, you know, comparing that to, to being a consultant sure. and being a, a yeah. partner. If I think about similarities and, and things that effective leaders demonstrate, there's a lot of similarities mm -hmm. between corporate and, and consulting. Both are, if we think about tax, technical jobs. Yes. Okay. Now, the big difference, I think, is within the um, company setting. There's a greater emphasis on breadth of technical than I think depth of technical. Sure. I think judgment and the ability to navigate in the gray is extremely important in both. I mean, mm -hmm. we operate in the gray. Sure. If there was no gray, we wouldn't have jobs. That's and right. so great leaders in both demonstrate passion, mm -hmm. okay, for what it is they're doing. Um, strong collaboration skills. For me to be successful in-house at P&G, I need to collaborate with a lot of different functions. Communication skills are extremely important. Sure. Being able to, to take complicated topics and distill them down 
is a critical skill in-house. And not that it's not critical as a consulting, but typically my experience was I was dealing with other tax or other That's finance right. people that had a core understanding. Absolutely. Of what and I think the other thing is, you know, both roles require innovative solutions sure. to complicated problems. And theory to execution is a big bridge. Yeah, and, and as a consultant, it's a lot of theory, right? right? And then we have to work very closely with the clients then to get into those weeds and understand how do we get from the theory right. to the execution. And that's, yep. I see that as just a very, very different experience. Yeah. Like if I think about differences, mm -hmm. it's absolutely critical to have a really deep understanding of the business. The business is constantly evolving and be able to, being able to anticipate that and, and why they might be wanting to do what they want to do so that we can be proactive and innovative with regards to how we would mm -hmm. advise them as to the tax ramifications of things they're thinking about is where I spend most of my time. Okay. And, and I, I would be ineffective with that if I didn't understand the business as well as anybody in the business understands mm -hmm. doing what they're doing. Prioritization. I mean, one of the issues um, I struggled with as a partner, and it was a, it was a good issue to have, was just there were a whole lot of clients that wanted our help, right? right? And, and every client is going to be the most important client. Absolutely. Right? And, and so, you know, trying to prioritize and balance all that, particularly when I had two kids growing up, was a bit of a challenge okay. for me. Um, I have honestly found that easier to do in-house. I mean, I'm working for one company. Right. I still have prioritization issues. I mean, it doesn't mean the job's easier. Right. Okay? I mean, I think that's one of the big myths is that maybe the corporate setting is maybe uh, an easier job or maybe doesn't require less time. I, I can tell you I work as hard now as I've ever worked. And the stress levers are different. I would advise anyone thinking about that's currently in a consulting arena going into a into a corporate arena, you know, I'd make sure that they understand that it's it's gonna be a hard job as well. Yeah. And there's gonna be different levers of stress. And you're gonna have to find what that right balance is and make sure you understand the culture of the company you're mm -hmm. getting into. And clearly in-house I've got no billing or time reports. That's that's <laughs> a big difference. I think the the consulting environment offers by far much better training than we could ever give in-house. Sure. At the end of the day, in a tax career, I would always, almost always advise folks, you should start out in the consulting arena. It's the best training. You can start to build a network of people that are gonna be in tax on a long-term basis. I mean, I still network with people that I uh, started my career with almost 30 years sure. ago. I mean, it's an unbelievable opportunity. And um, the corporate jobs, I think, will always be there and mm -hmm. always be available. And I, and I think it's a, it's a great way to start your career. Look, I, I've loved both careers. I've been fortunate to work for two great institutions mm -hmm. at the latter parts of my career with, with PwC and P&G. Well, Tad Fowler, former boss, mentor, friend. Tad, thank you very much for joining you, the Doug McConey vlog. Yep. See you, everybody. leaving Cincinnati, I went to San Francisco, and oy vey, did I catch the stomach flu. Remember last week when my vlog was posted like Friday night as opposed to Friday morning? That was why. Special thanks to Tad Fowler for agreeing to be on the, the Doug McConey vlog. If there's one thing that I hope people get from the various interviews that I have and those that I have on my channel is that everybody has a different path to success, and everybody defines success differently. Understand yourself, learn to listen to what drives you, what do you enjoy, what do you think is the most important, what do you think is the most rewarding. Only you will be able to decide what is the best fit. Thanks for tuning in. If you're enjoying the content, I would appreciate that you could reflect such in the like section of LinkedIn or YouTube. If you're interested in subscribing, do that. That's all the rage these days. Stay tuned next week. We're heading back to Jupiter, Florida for volume three or volume four. I don't know, it's my third Cardinals fantasy camp. I